definitely not in Tulum as we speak, but it's very cold. I'm in Marbella and it's February. And I found a little bit of footage from when I was there. Like I was there over Christmas, so it was the Christmas period leading into January. And I thought, why not share it on YouTube? I know when I'm going somewhere new, I love finding out like what to do, like what to pack, where to eat. So I split it into two parts. The first being what I pack. It might give you like a little bit of summer inspiration, which is what we need right now during the cold. And then the second half is a little bit of vlogging that I did while I was actually in Tulum. I was telling myself a huge fat lie if I thought that I was gonna vlog the entire trip I was there. It was very action-packed. We done a festival called Zamna Festival. I put a video on the screen to give you a bit of insight into how crazy Tulum can be and like to definitely get amongst it if you're there and experience the music and what it has to offer. But for context, we stayed in Aldi Zama which is a little spot in between the beach and the town. We used a moped to get around most places. And yeah, it was a very, very fun trip. And I don't know if you noticed, but in the background of all my videos, if you are watching, the background's changing a lot because I haven't had a permanent Marbella home since moving to Marbella about a year ago. So we're currently in the process of renovating a villa here in Marbella. Another thing that I love watching is like home decor renovation projects on YouTube. Like I'm just obsessed with them. So I need to get used to like editing the footage I do take and sharing a bit more with you. So I hope you enjoy this two part video of me packing for Tulum, what to pack. I definitely packed probably too many heels that I needed. Like it's very laid back. That's probably my biggest packing tip. And then the second part is the top three places to eat in Tulum. I went back to Ireland last week and I was too freezing to function. I just literally lived in this sweatshirt. This is the A Girl's Die For sweatshirt that's just been restocked. I'll leave a link down below for that too. The first trip that me and Rob are going on where neither of us have been to the place before. So I'm very excited for that. Let's show you what I'm packing. Jacquemus. I got the Jacquemus orange little cardi. I think this will be really cute. I don't know if it'll be too warm for Tulum, but either way, I'm wearing it. I'm kinda loving oranges and pinks, so I'm gonna bring my little with jean flower top two. I got this naked fashion flower swimsuit. I like putting swimsuits with the little shorts because they're really easy. You can just whip off the shorts and then get straight into the water, but they also look really cute, kind of like a top when you wear them. So she's coming, I'm loving florals. And then it's Rob's 30th birthday while we're over there. This is my outfit that I'm gonna wear. I got this for Love and Lemon's little floral dress with like little frills at the bottom. I wanted to get quite breathable shorts, especially for when I'm wearing the Jacquemus top. I wanted to have like little cute shorts to match. So I got these on Revolve. They're a little bit see-through, so I'm gonna put them with maybe a white bikini bottom on the bottom. And I'm just loving crochet, especially for a beachy holiday. You can't really go wrong, and it's just really light and breathable. So I picked up a few more Croa Croatia. I picked up a few more crochet bits including this gorgeous little see-through kind of like beach dress from Revolve. And then I got this, well, this little set while I was in Mykonos. So I thought it'd be perfect for my trip to Mexico. So this is like a bottom, a crochet bottom, and it has like a really nice tight waist with a little matching top. So we're going for crochet, floral, beachy vibes. And then I wanted to get some shorts because I wear shorts, like just comfy ones most of the days. These are from, I think these are from ASOS and they have like a really cute tie up the front. So they'll be really flattering. These are also from ASOS. I'm gonna try find as many links as I can to leave below. I'm out of breath. These are also from ASOS. Nice little tie waist. And then I think you can't go wrong with bringing a nice kind of loose chino-y suit pant because you can kind of just wear like a little bralette with them and they're nice and light. So I think these are from Zara. For swimsuits, I wanted to treat myself and I got a Melissa Simone bikini. I don't know if anyone's heard of this brand, but I've seen it for a while. I've seen it on like Bella Hadid and stuff. Of a thong bikini that just like fits all the right places. This is a nice, really nice shape. It's a yellow one and it has a nice little floral yellow top to match. I really like these woven dresses. I got two on Bamba Swim 
last or like two years ago and they're just literally the item that I wear the most when I'm away. This is the black one which I've worn so many times. I also got it in white and then I found a quite similar one on ASOS. It's a little bit big on the back but I got it in the pink because they're quite expensive on Bamba Swim and I like to find little dupes for things. And then I'm gonna bring probably my Yeezys for just, you know, another bag as well. A little dust bag, so I'm bringing my Jacquemus hat that I wore literally all summer. And I also have a pink one. I got a pink one, it's not Jacquemus, but I got this on ASOS. They're nice for variety. And then in my accessories bag, I also have this really cute, it's from MEJ. It's like a little flower clip for keeping my weave intact while I'm on the beach. So yeah. I think that's pretty much a quick run through of all the new stuff that I got. Also, Rob got me a Louis V perfume for Christmas. He's very kind. So I tend to put all of my more expensive items into my carry-on because I did get my laptop actually stolen from my checked in luggage when I was in Mykonos, which was not ideal. And I kind of learned my lesson. So I keep all my kind of like nice bits, like laptops and my waiver wand will 100% be going in the carry on and then for bags i didn't want to bring too big of a bag so i'm just bringing my small by far little pink bag i also got this in a large black one but it's probably too big to bring and then my little prada bag comes everywhere i go so yeah that's pretty much it i'm gonna go get my nails done now because duty calls i'm thinking i'm gonna go for a long nail which i never ever do anymore um yeah so i'm changing it up for this trip but I hope that's showing you everything. I'm gonna show you my nails after I get them done and I'll see you in Mexico. Can you believe that it is, it's week three of the trip and I haven't picked up the camera once, but that's okay, because I was having so much fun. I honestly think Tulum is the craziest place I've ever been. We went to some festivals, we met some friends who were out here and we have one week left of just chilling and exploring and I'll probably do a little bit more vlogging now that the hectic season is over. The actual busiest times here in Tulum is New Year's and Christmas. So that's all out of our system now. And then after this, we go to ignore the, oh, there's just a mess either side. Ignore, this is my makeup kind of getting ready room. We're on our way down to Matcha Mama, which is like a juicy beach bar down on the beach and we're gonna get an acai bowl, but it's kind of good that I waited till now to do a little bit more video stuff. I think it'll be a good time to sit down and tell you all of the recommendations and tips that we have for Tulum in case you plan on visiting because I think you should visit. It is honestly so good. So my OOTD, what I'm wearing today. Yes, I always wondered what that meant. OTT, I was like over the top. This is my Uted. The Uted, it's the <laughs> Uted. We're showing them the Uted, okay. The naked one piece that I showed you earlier. It fits so well, it even has like little knots here at the side. I'm more of a bikini person usually, but I went for a little swimsuit because you're kind of like on the moped and going around like exploring a lot over here and it's much more comfortable when you feel a bit more together. And then I have my little Revolve shorties. These are nice because they're nice and like see-through. And then for glasses of choice, if I buy expensive glasses, I'm gonna lose them right there. Yeah. So I, <laughs> so I went and I got these on Depop. These are just vintage juicy. And then these Yeezys, have withstood the test of time, haven't they, Rob? Don't show my toes, so I need a penny. Okay, right? they have gone to but festivals. They've gone to many places. They've yeah. explored the whole uh, of Mexico. Honestly, they are, they're the goat. Yeah, yeah, I feel like the shape of them is just durable. Yeah, like you can't, there's no creases to get them dirty. Like I'm wearing them as well. Like yeah, they're just perfect. Magic. Yeah. So that's been my outfit today. And then I'm also gonna bring my little the girls die for beach bag, which has also with, withheld the test of time because it gets full with sand every day. I just empty it out. We want to bring some towels and like drinks. And we wash it after as well in the yeah, washing machine. Yeah, it washes yeah. perfect. Yeah. So this is my little outfit and we'll see you down on the beach. So we made it to match your mama. We got these acai bowls. We didn't go for peanut butter today. Instead we got two extra large coffees and show them the little venue of where we're at. Oh from. yeah, this is, this is the best part. So, 
time for a food debrief. Matcha Mama was definitely our favorite breakfasty spot for acai bowls and coffee. There's actually a couple of them in Tulum. And then for lunch, it has to be burrito amore. Amore, amore. But it's definitely the best burrito we've ever tried. And it's such a good price as well. We literally went there, I think, every day on our trip. And then for dinner, 100% it has to be a Zulik. It's like a one of a kind experience. You sit in these tents and in this kind of like treehouse structure that's right by the beach and they have an amazing menu. It's like the perfect spot for pictures, especially at sunset. And I definitely recommend booking here well in advance. I think we booked a month before, but here's our food. I actually got the truffle pasta and Rob got the steak, which is unbelievable. So let me know if you try any of these places. Thanks for watching. Thank you.